All right, we're back with the amazing box, Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum. And we're going to make it with one square sheet of paper. <laughs> sort of. So, divide the paper in half. And I just thought of a way to change the gum. We're going to get two pieces of gum. Alright, so this is in the way. Alright, so you fold your paper in half. Grease it sharply. And just give it a little tear. And then put this side all the way down on a flat surface and leave this mountain fold up towards you. And just pull the paper apart. Tears it in half. Great. Now to make the gum, we're going to cut this one in half too. I'm going to try this new gum out. Wrigley's Juicy Fruit. Alright, so we're going to make it with the paper one first instead of the dollar. To uh, It's a little bit easier. That's why. And then we're going to do the dollar matchbox probably. So you take a little square to make the gum. And you fold it in thirds. Just get this all the way tucked in there. Pinch it down. Looks pretty good. Well, you don't have to crease it that tight on the gum. And open it up. There's a clean edge, so I'm going to use that. And I just fold back a little bit like the gum has the little paper sticking up. So just get that straight across. And this is why I made the gum out of the smaller pieces, actually. Because now, we'll just tuck this in behind there. And so there's one piece of gum. Now you need to make the other one. But let's get on to the shell part of the box here. Okay, so we got our gum and our juicy fruit. All right, so uh, you just fold the uh, short edge over to the long edge. Make a nice point. Do the opposite direction with the other corner. Now you want to get all your folds lined up really good, even though it may look like I'm going fast. So now open up a corner and fold it into the crease. But make that go straight that way with the paper and straight that way. So right there. Now these these really matter to get straight, so I'm gonna want to crease down the middle to uh wreck the surface of the box. So you want a nice clean finish on both sides. So now do the other one. There is a part though with the dollar that makes it really cool. The folding technique. Which I was searching for that for a while. <laughs> Alright, so then you fold these back in. 
So now what you do is you lift this folded crease edge up and you go to this crease. And there's not much room to line it up there, but line it up. And then you got this crease lines up with this raw it, this uh, creased edge. So I'm pinching that and pulling down to get it right where I want. See? That's the key. Alright. Now you don't have to crease that real hard yet. Now put this back. And do this side the same way. Lift this edge up. Line it up. Get that crease lined up really good, otherwise your box will be tapered. Which means more narrow at one side than the other. Alright, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and crease them. Alright, so now there's the bottom of the box. And then these are the sides. And then this goes across and that goes across. Now we just have to uh, open these points and fold them in again. Same way. Lining it up. This way and that way. So, I don't know, this is actually pretty easy. I might call it the Easy Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum. Alright, so there's the uh, box and the tutorial's done. Have a nice day. <laughs> Alright, I really like this box. So, now next step is to fold this point over and now we're not going all the way to the edge so to line it up you use these creases lined up with those creases to get it nice and straight you want those right on those creases and just leave about the edge of the Wrigley's gum there. Now on the other corner, we're going to fold it up. But let's not crease it yet. Just hold it where it goes. And then make sure it's the right size for your gum. See, that looks pretty good there. So, about the same amount on each side of white uh, opposite side showing. See, you line them creases up. And then, reverse all these mountain folds by folding on these mountain folds. So just, just one right there at the corner. And that one goes all the way across to this corner. So be careful. 
and this should line up nice and straight. If it doesn't, then you would refold this corner. Yeah, really wanted to get this without the extra creases in the side, in the, uh, without the extra creases showing. And then I finally noticed, discovered how to do it. So there's your box and you could, uh, you could just loosely put it together now. And check your gum if you want. Ooh, that looks pretty good. So now we've got to close one end of the box. Now you could do it here, but that little part of paper is not enough to go across the side of the box. So we have to do it over here. And what you do is you lift up on the wide piece. And you hold this short piece down like this. And then you fold this edge over to this crease. Right on the existing marks. See? And there's a crease right there. And what happens inside is next little triangle right there. And you pinch that down. You can even reach in there and crease it down. Now do the same thing on the other side of this wide panel. Get all the way into that corner. And bring that crease over to this edge. Just lining up existing creases and I'm going to go in there and crease that one too maybe not <laughs> stuff is in the way that's where a folding tool bone probably comes in handy alright so now what we got to do is see see where the edge of the box really is right here and so now bend the wide piece down and don't worry about that kink and just push that in right there if it bugs you Right there. So now where that crease is, I'm folding this back. But we're just going to make a little mark. So we've got it the right amount. doesn't matter too much if you crinkle it up right now right there so right there see so I've got my little mark now in the corner now open this up and fold along that mark lining these lines up with those again And 
just go all the way across. That should be pretty good. Now, fold back down on the original crease, which is just a little bit below there. Tuck that up under there. Alright, now open up that wide side, well see this is the uh, wide part, hold that up and push that back in, the crease is already there, same thing over here, whoops, goes on the inside, you fold this down and that goes over. And there's our little creases for the bottom of the gum pack right here. Excuse me. Oh, the time just flies on these videos. Sorry, it's already 16 minutes. So now this point goes under here. And this side edge right here goes right there. So just fold that over and tuck it under there. Bring this, oops, I slipped out. Bring this side edge up. And slide that back. Now, this one is pretty tight. I'm going to get something to stick in there. So I'm going to push right here on the inside. Now it actually helps if you Take another step and close the whole box before you make this end fold. But I thought I was going to make a quicker video. It's the only reason why I didn't do that. So then hold it right here where it's closed and that crease lines up. And then open it up and grab this point and stick it on the inside. This piece goes on the inside and the outside. And then shape your box around, keeping this to the inside all the way to the end. So now you've got to pull the paper this way and get this crease lined up over here. Make sure it's inside and it'll work pretty good. It's a little bit harder with the bottom of the box closed. And you just kind of twist the box around. Pulling this towards you there. See, it's getting in there now. There it is. And there we go. And if you don't like that little point showing, you can open the model up, fold it in a little bit. But it's not always the best to do. It ends up like that if you do it at the corner, which I don't like that. So I prefer it just like this. And then just reach in there with just about anything. And Fix your little sides. Now, if you're happy with it all lining up, go ahead and crease them together a little bit. And there we go. Now she's beauty. Oh, and I forgot I was going to write Juicy Fruit on there. Hang on. 
All right, that folds up another piece of gum. And you can use a pencil to flatten the inside a little bit. But that's the model. I hope you like it. Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum. Hopefully we'll make the uh, Money Origami Pez case or the matchstick box. Because you want to put your Pez in a safe place. It's a jewelry box. Where's my pet? Ah, oh, here's the pet. <laughs> All right. And then we're folding that back. You can do that on both ends if you want. And then you can fold the corners in. After you do the angle folds, then you can fold the corners in all the way. And then it'll fit the gum with both sides folded in. And I didn't stick anything in there to jab at the edges a little bit there's the gum see that's pretty cool all right wrigley's juicy fruit gum and the video hope you enjoyed that one it was a square paper origami on the money origami channel pretty rare all right thanks for watching appreciate you and likes get more views for me appreciate it